Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 17 November 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Natasha Urdendahl writes that the delayed Lesotho Highlands water project is the key to plugging Gauteng's water supply gap. The long-anticipated second phase of the Lesotho Highlands Water Project broke ground this year, with ambitions of providing Gauteng and surrounds with a much-needed boost in water volumes by 2028. The engineering news features focus on civil engineering and construction, where a concrete manufacturer reopens its manufacturing plant. Brewery and winery industry, where a new wine industry professional body is launched to formalize the sector and a review of the manufacturing in Darba, with the event aiming to foster industry ties. The Mining Weekly features focus on copper, where a manufacturer secures new clients despite challenges. And iron ore, where opportunities are unlocked through addressing the fundamentals. This week's business leader is Isak Marer, the Chief Operating Officer at Blefour Gold. And as this week's cartoon shows, with millions of chickens having been culled owing to an outbreak of avian flu, supplies of eggs have plummeted and prices have spiked. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.